It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. We got that transformation haircut on Thanksgiving Day. You know what I'm saying? Happy Turkey Day to y'all. Hope y'all get real fat food. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. What's the best part about Thanksgiving? What's, what, what food do you like to eat during Thanksgiving? You know, for me, it's, it's the dressing. Right? I like dressing. Then I want to go macaroni macaroni and cheese then i want to go greens and then i want to get untraditional right like i want like oxtails i don't know where y'all from i'm from the south but then you want oxtails you know what i mean something like that and then you know um you know you can give me the fried turkey i'll eat some fried turkey you know what i mean but i uh, uh you can give me some seafood dressing you know what I'm saying? I like a mixture of everything. I kind of want my thing to be, you know, buffet style with southern comfort food plus the Thanksgiving food plus some crawfish plus some fish. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we, you know, we look nice thing. Kool-Aid or something. You feel me? But anyway, to the haircut. So this is a transformation. So you saw the picture. The picture, I get that picture all the time from women when they want to get their hair cut. And I seen that picture. I don't know who the barber is that cut that, but he is popular. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Amongst like hairstyles for women. So that's what she wanted. That's what she get. So the, what we would, what I was doing here is I'm using my balding clipper to knock the hair down some to where I can control it where I can actually put a guard on my clippers and then cut it down right like I've stuck my finger in the middle of it because I wanted to know how deep it was like how close to the scalp I was and once I realized like oh, okay this is how close I am to the scalp this is close enough then I know I can put a guard on my clipper and then start cutting it down so now I got my four guard right here right so I'm cutting it down. You see that I'm showing you I'm using the foreguard. So I'm using the foreguard because I still want to use a bigger guard because I, even though I know how close I am to the scalp, I still want to leave some on top enough for me to work with, right? Because the thing about it, you don't want to cut it too low, right? You just want to cut it at a good even height, even everything out. So then you can work with it from there. So this, everything about a transformation about this haircut is about graduation. It's slowly getting everything down to a, a unified length and then starting the haircut. Then after that, what you want to do, you want to come with a one and a half on the side. Because if you if you remember the picture, the size was close, but they wasn't bald. But you need something still a, a big guard like for this transformation, we doing a lot of down fading, right? So it's not like the traditional fade the way we do it. So we going like, you know, fading from big to small, right? You know what I mean? Instead of small to big, you know, the way that you would normally do a haircut, but we doing, you know, like I say, big to small. So on the sides, I use a one and a half and because I, I want to, still be able to see what I'm working with like you could jump in with a one or, or a half guard and it might be too low like you have to check the density of the hair and make sure like how it's gonna look towards the scalp and then you know you start slowly but surely working your way down right so anyway I got the one and a half I went down with it right to knock the bulk off on the side I use the same one and a half to come up like what I'm doing right now and and smooth out the sides even more. So now I'm getting a feel for it, right? So I use the four four guard on top. I use the one and a half on the side because I'm I'm just trying to make everything blend into the other, right? So 
the one and a half I'm coming up, the one and a half I'm coming down, I'm raking it though. I'm not like applying a lot of pressure. I'm doing it at an angle to make it fit towards the top, like where the four at, right? So it's a lot of manipulation with this. You know, the way that you angle your clipper is manipulating the guard. So I can easily turn a, a one and a half guard into a two guard if I manipulate my clipper by, you know, angling it a certain type of way, right? So with that being said, you can do a lot with your guard. So you just have to, you know, like I said, learn how to manipulate it. Then after I use the one and a half, now I have the one guard on, right? I had the one guard on because now I can see, okay, I need to clean this to make it a little bit more smoother and to get it a little bit more smoother, I can go lower, right? So I use the one guard and I, you know, I go open the close, right? We're still going big to small. We went four, one and a half to the one. So now I'm cleaning it up. I just want it clean. I want it smooth. I want to give, give her a crisp look, you know, something just like what the picture is you know it might not be the exact exact same just because the texture of hair is different right so you got to be mindful of that and that's why i always say kind of use bigger guards especially when you're not you know sure about the hair and about the texture and how it's gonna fall off when you actually cut it off right so you just want to uh, keep that in mind so on to the other side. The other side, we do the same thing. We got the one and a half guard. We coming down, we knocking the buck off. We going big to small. We using it open, right? And we manipulating the guard. Sometimes we make it a two. Sometimes it's just a one and a half, right? But you, you're knocking it down, like I said, to a length to where you can see it, you can control it. You can start the fade. Everything about haircutting is about control, right? It's all about control period right what you can control how you can you know get it to the point to where you're comfortable to start the haircut right and control the haircut it's all about control you know what i mean it sounds easier it's easier said than done but once you learn how to control it that's it so the one and a half we coming up you see we do doing the same thing on this side what we did to the other side we're getting it close and as you can see wow it can be a little smoother right it's a little jagged right now but that's when you come back with your one guard and smooth it out even more because some the hair is still kind of curly because it's still a little too thick on the sides and we don't really want that so that's where i use the one guard to clean it up a little better And on the back, we do the exact same thing. We use, you know, a one and a half guard right here. Knock it down, like I said, manipulate it. Do all those things, clean it up, get it to look just like the sides. Now it's time to do the lineup, right? So she doesn't want the box lineup, right? So a lot of times on women, you don't want to put the box because it's kind of too hard for them. It kind of it's kind of a masculine look. 
So every woman doesn't want that. You have to know how to do it without making them look masculine, right? So most of the time you're going to put a point. You're going to make sideburns at a point, right? You're going to give a curve and you're going to come all the way around to the front. So I start from the bottom with my line up. And, you know, there's no enhancements involved in this, right? So you just want to... You know, make a sharp line. It's ways to make sharp lines without using enhancements, right? So, and I just show you this right here. Look, boom, right? And, and her hair is gray, right? Yeah, but I still get the line, right? So it's all about technique, right? I seen the no enhancement challenge that uh, get beam did with whoever the dude that that challenged them or whatever. Like, bro, this is stupid. Don't you? It's certain. I be waiting for the smoke sometimes. Like, I, I, I wait for somebody to call me out cause, so I can show out. You feel me? But the, it, the no enhancement challenge is crazy. Like, bro, if you really watch videos, like, before they put the enhancement on, supposed to be that you do the lineup before. I always do my lineup before I put enhancements on. So you already know, bam, he can really make a sharp line. Like, you know, so anyway... You, you want to make the lineup sharp on a woman also, uh, as sharp as possible, but still subtle. You don't want to make it hard. So you just kind of want to make sure it, it's just within the flow of the haircut, right? Not too much, but that's going to be the main attraction on the haircut. That's going to set the haircut off just like it does any other one. But you want to make sure that it's, it's feminine in some type of way, right? And that's just a touch that every barber needs, you know what I mean? You just got to know how to finesse it just a little bit. And that's just what it is, you know? So that comes over time and practice. So you want to use a little clip of a comb because since I'm not putting a line in the front, I want to make sure it's laying down. I want to make sure it's tapered down. I want it to be smooth, natural looking, you know? And hey, you know, we want to keep her femininity, right? So, if you're not going to lie in the front, this is some of the things that you have to do in order to keep, you know, the haircut, the flow of everything looking good. Now, onto the other side, it looks a little thick on this side, so I come back, I use uh, no guard open, but the same rules apply on this side, so you kind of want to get it sharper. So, the hair is different on this side, as you can see. But you still follow your same system. You still do the exact same thing. You don't change anything. You still do the exact same thing, right? To try to get the best result possible. It might not be 100% uh, the exact same because people sleep on one side of their head. The hair grows different on one side of their head for whatever reason. But stick to your uh, system, your formula whatever it is and still do the same thing and it should come out just about right if not perfect right so that's what that's what i did right here so i'm just still doing my same techniques and you see the line is still coming out short right and like i said this the hair is great so you know that's that's what we got right here so like i said it's ways to make sharp lines without using enhancements you just got to kind of got to take your time with it And now after that, she she wanted the part, so I tried to put it in. I'm putting it in, right? So the thing about it, her hair is gray, right? And, you know, trying to put a line where you can actually see it really well. I want it to pop. You know, it's not going to pop like the other picture because her hair is black, ultimately. But it's kind of a way for me to try to make it pop. 
So I get the line in real good right here. You know, you make sure you make it sharp as possible. And then I come back and I use like uh, no guard on the clipper open. And I'm gonna knock down some of the bulk under the bottom, like towards the bottom of it. You see what I mean? Because I'm trying to create that transition where you can actually see it, right? So I just cleaned it up that way. See what's going on? So I'm trying to make it stick out a little bit more by having more bulk at the top than at the bottom. You know, so because I wanted to stand out and I know that's gonna make the haircut pop even more. So sometimes you have to use these type of uh, things. That's an extra tip for you to use in order to get the transition. You want that line to pop, you know what I mean? So because it's, it's difficult when the hair is not black and it's easy that way when you do it that way, right? So anyway, so this is the haircut we got as close to the picture as possible, you know. We laid it down in the front, you know, things like that. But don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Happy Turkey Day. Ow.